For this video, I present question C. If you react four moles of H2 with 12 moles of O2, according to this equation, which reagent runs out first? And how many moles of H2O do you theoretically make? This is a classic limiting reactant question. When it asks which of the following reagents in this situation runs out first, it's really asking which of these is a limiting reactant. So how do we do that? By using the mnemonic that I invented, linked to in another video that's floating over my head or in the description below, that I call BCD, where the letter B stands for balance the chemical equation. As given, it's provided balance, so we're done with step B. Step C is convert everything to moles. It's also given to us all in moles, so we're done with that. And then step D is divide each of the mole amounts by their corresponding coefficients. The smallest one wins, meaning that the smallest one, or smallest answer that you get when you do that process, is the thing that runs up first, hence the limiting reactant. For example, here I have four moles of H2. So I'm going to divide it by the coefficient that's next to the H2, which is this two right here. Four divided by two is equal to two. Here I've got 12 moles of O2. What coefficient is right here? There's no coefficient written, so it's an understood one. So I take 12 and divide it by one, and that gives me 12. Which of these two answers is smaller? Yeah, it's the two, which means that the limiting reactant, the one that will run out first, is the H2. And I'm done with step D. The ending part of the question asks us to determine how many moles of H2O form. Well, remember that in any scenario, the number of moles of product you get will always be calculated from the limiting reactant. So that's why we went through the BCD process. We know that the limiting reactant here is H2. So we will calculate from four moles of H2 how many moles of H2O we'd end up getting. That is all done using dimensional analysis slash unit conversion. I write down four moles H2 right here. That's what I've got. In the denominator here, the units will match the numerator units right here. So I'll write moles H2. What do I write unit-wise in the numerator? Well, I want to get to moles of H2O. Can I directly have moles of H2 and moles of H2O be in the same set or parentheses? In other words, can moles of one thing and moles of another thing touch? <laughs> the answer is yes. But what numbers do I put here? Well, those are the coefficients because the coefficients in a balanced equation are the mole to mole or molecule to molecule ratios. I have a two in front of the H2 and I have a two in front of the H2O. You'll notice that unit wise, the moles of H2 cancel each other out. I'm left with moles of H2O. So now it's just number crunching. Four divided by two is two, multiplied by a two is equal to four. <laughs> so this ends up giving me four moles of H2O, which is this question's correct answer. <laughs>